Welcome or welcome back to my channel guys. It's your girl Jo. If this is your first time seeing my face, make sure to hit the subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up. So for today's video, I'm excited. I haven't touched my hair in a few weeks, maybe a month by now. I wanted to give it a break because I knew I was going to do this video and the last time I tried to do like a, a design on my hair, it was an epic fail. I did make that into a video too. It's disappointing, but we're back. I'm excited. Today we're going to bleach my hair and then do hearts. I'm going to dye some hearts on my head for Valentine's Day. I've done this video, I think, two years ago on Valentine's Day. I briefly did hearts, I think, a few months ago. I did hearts on my head um, back in September, I believe it was. Valentine's Day right around the corner. I thought it would be so cute. So I'm going to do, when I did it for the Valentine's Day two years ago, I did just red. This year I'm doing red and pink. So I'm not sure the exact colors that I'm going for, but I know I'm using this cherry, wild cherry color. And then I'm using, I don't know, either these two pinks, maybe a combo. I have this neon peach and this cotton candy. I'm going to um, definitely dilute this with some conditioner because I don't want it... Like, this is like a deep red, and I want it more to be like a Valentine's Day red. Ah, you know what I'm saying. So, I'm going to dilute that with conditioner before I put it on my head. And then I have my heart stencils here. Literally. I'm going to insert how I make them for you guys. This is how I make my heart stencil. I just got a piece of cardboard. I'm going to write out, draw out the hearts, and then cut it out with this knife so that I can have the hearts on my head. I drew out both of my hearts because I'm doing two different colors and then I'm gonna cut them out. Okay, so I cut out this layer so I just gotta do it again to get the back side out and then it'll be a stencil. When I first did this, I did it with paper and it did not come out good so I have Thick cardboard so that the dye won't like run through it really easily. Have my bowl, my brush, and my whisk thing for my bleach. Have my powder and my developer. I mean, at this point, we're just ready to go. And I'm gonna recruit Jazz to help me with my hearts. This is the first time she helped me with my hair. So she said she wasn't gonna help me. But we have the stencils, so it should be no problem. So the first step is to dye my hair i let it grow out a little bit so that i'm able to see the hearts better like when i put them on my head so the first step is to dye my hair so let's just get started i do have my mask and i will be turning on this vent because this powder bleach powder is too strong i do not like it once it runs out I'm not getting that shit again i'm a little more hair than usual so i think i might do three scoops just to make sure i have enough Mm. all the powder now we're going to add the developer to here right now i'll put this on my head so i don't waste anything hopefully this works on one try and i don't have to re-bleach it that's the goal to not have to bleach it again Just judge. The reason why I took a break with bleaching my hair too because this whole process is just like time consuming. You gotta do all this, then you gotta let it stay on your hair for minimum 40 minutes, rinse it, and then the process of putting the design on your hair. That's a whole nother, I don't know could be an hour depending on what it is oh my god this is burning my eyes you can see here it's starting to turn already which is a good sign i'm gonna finish the rest off camera and then i'll be back once everything is covered okay my whole head is covered i'm gonna do my eyebrows real fast i'm gonna leave this on for about 30 to 40 minutes. I'm looking more towards 40 minutes because my hair was really dark and I wanted to lift really light. It's lifting pretty good already. 
um, but I want it to look more like white and not this color, so I'm gonna wrap it and <laughs> rinse it off and then I'll be back. Here's my little update. So I washed my hair off and it still had a yellow tint, so I'm using this. I showed you guys this in my last video. My hair right now, I'm gonna leave it for five to 10 minutes. Um, it's supposed to take like the orange brassiness out of your hair. So I'll link this down below for you guys. I shampoo off my head and this is how we're looking. Definitely more blonde than it's coming up on camera, but this is a good base. The other one was like super yellowish and I'm like, uh, no. I put conditioner in this red, cause like I said, it's too dark. So I'm gonna mix it to see if it, if it's like comes off a cute, a cute red. Oh look, okay. This is how it's looking. I have this one here as well. I think I'm gonna go with this, the cotton candy. These are the two colors that I'm working with. Using paint brushes. I have four different tips, two for the outline and two to fill them in. And then this is my help. <laughs> Stencils, so it's kind of going like, like every other color-ish. That's what I'm going for, like pink, red, pink, red, pink, red, pink, red, like that, like that. So that's what we're gonna do. It's so cute. Yeah, but it's too light. It's not gonna come out right, so. I don't think so. I think it's gonna be too light. It's too light, so I'm gonna add a tiny bit of like a darker pink. Okay, the tiniest. This is the how the red one looks. Yeah, right there. This is how the red one looks. So just a big good stencil, put it on your head, paint it, have somebody else paint it so you don't gotta do all the hard work. I ain't doing no verse, quit asking. Brand new whip, just, just got done doing my hair so this is how it's looking i'm gonna leave it on for about maybe another 10 minutes because it's been on for a while only thing that's left to be done is my eyebrows so i'm doing one one eyebrow pink and one eyebrow like the red color bitch what the fuck <laughs> I have so much dye left that I don't know what to do with. If anybody knows, it's mixed with conditioner. Am I able to like save it for maybe the next time? I don't wanna, I feel like it's just a waste just throwing this away. I don't know, I don't know. All right, eyebrows done. Like I said, maybe another 10, 15 minutes. Cause, and now I'm gonna rest it off. I'm, fingers crossed that the colors won't bleed into each other. That's the goal. I'm hoping that me mixing it with conditioner was all I had to do. But I'm gonna rinse it off and I'll be back with the final results. It's the next day or the day after. I can't really remember, but I just wanted to come on you here and show you guys how my hair is looking. It came out actually really good and I'm really impressed. So I did the two different hearts. The red, it looks kind of like a dark, it kind of matches my glasses. And then the pink, and then here, and then my two eyebrows. This is the light pink, and then this is the red. It's supposed to be red. It looks really, really good. Let me do a 360 for you guys. How's it looking back there? How it look? That's how my hair came out. I think it came out really good. I actually really like it. I've been out. So yeah, it was two days ago because yesterday I was out. I went to a few stores and people were like whispering about my hair. I can hear them talking about it. People were telling me that they like it. So I'm already getting a lot of compliments on my hair, which anytime I do my hair, I usually do. But I think this time since it's like hearts and it's around Valentine's Day, people are absolutely in love with it you guys comment down below let me know what you think of it and i'll see you guys in my next video